I'm Brian Early. I'm the program director of the Johnson City Family Medicine Program in the Department of Family Medicine at East Tennessee State University. I'm the new guy here. I've only been here for a couple months. I started in early April 2020. Yes, right in the middle of the COVID pandemic. So I've been making some observations since I've been here and I wanna tell you a couple things I've seen. One of the cool things about our program that I've seen is the teamwork. I see residents, faculty, office staff, nurses, all covering for each other, all doing what they can to give the best patient care possible. One of the things that I've noticed is the interdisciplinary care that we are able to give to our patients. On site, we have a behavioral scientist, we have a clinical pharmacologist that give us other avenues to go to with some of our difficult patients. We actually even have a couple clinics in the middle of the week, one for patients who are transitioning out of the hospital and another for the particularly difficult, medically complicated or socially complicated patient. Another thing that I've noticed about the program is the diversity of the faculty. Seems like all of our faculty have different things that they love to teach. We actually have a board certified geriatrician, a board certified sports medicine doctor, and we also work closely with our new addiction medicine program. Their program director is one of our faculty members and will work closely with you as a resident as well. We have other faculty who have various other interests. We have a couple faculty who love to teach ultrasound. We have a couple that are experts in transgender care. Almost any passion you have, we'd find a faculty member to match you up in a mentorship type role. The final thing that I've really noticed since being here are the number of really cool procedures that we're able to do in the clinic. All the residents get many opportunities to do female type, uh, type procedures. If there's a joint, you'll learn to, to stick a needle in it. We do all kinds of really cool sports medicine procedures. We do stress tests in the clinic. And then we do lots of dermatologic procedures as well. Even dermoscopy, which I actually had to look up exactly what that was when I got to the clinic. Finally, we teach acupuncture and osteopathic manipulative therapy as well. So when I look at my place here and, and what I really want to bring to the program in the next year or so, I really look at three different things. I really want to get out in the community more. I think all of you as medical students, you've done a lot of community medicine, and I find that at most residency programs, you don't get the opportunity to do that anymore. And I think that's something we really should be continuing in residency education. The other thing that I really want to focus on is resident wellness. This is a really difficult profession, and sometimes it gets the better of us. And I think the more that we look at ways that you can find happiness on days that are tough. I really wanna be a part of, of teaching you that as well. And then the final is I'm an osteopath. And one of my passions for a number of years has been how do I get my osteopaths able to do more treatments within a normal day in clinic? How do you do a 15 minute manipulation? Probably didn't learn that in medical school. However, in today's day and age, of single accreditation, there's also some cool things I can teach the MDs that you'll be able to take into your practice to do osteopathic skills as well. Finally, you may ask, why the mountains of Tennessee? Why did I come here? Well, that'll become obvious the second you drive in town. You'll be surrounded by the most beautiful mountains you've ever seen. This really is what I feel is the most beautiful area of the United States. And with that, all kinds of really cool activities to do. There's all kinds of hiking, camping, you'll have opportunities to, to uh, mountain bike, and even some skiing nearby. I actually am a fan of disc golf, and I've already played three or four of the nicest courses I've ever played in the few months that I've been here. There's a ton to do here, tons of reason to come here. We'd love to set up a virtual interview and find out more about you. Thank you so much for your interest.